hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 15 of selenium framework development from scratch and today we are going to talk about how can we border the element in selenium and that we are going to apply in our framework as well and uh, let's say we are validating an element so how we are going to border using green color like let's say if it is pass and and in case if it is failed then how we are going to border using red color correct guys so in the previous video we talked about how can we implement a spark report or extent report in our framework and we have in the last video we have implemented a listener as well using itest listener interface right now today we'll focus on how can we border the element in selenium so we are going to uh, follow couple of steps quick steps right so we'll write an utility method in action driver class so basically i'm going to use javascript to write an uh, utility method in action driver class and what we'll do we'll call that utility method in all the action related methods what are the action related methods which we have written uh, in our action driver class like click method enter text right and scroll to an element so we have different methods inside our action driver class whatever methods which we have already created so this is going to be an interesting video guys and uh, will enhance our report as well so i'll show you that so let's get it started so probably if you are doing manual testing then how we are going to do the bordering right so let's say this is the application which we are uh, using in our framework or in hrm so simply i'll take this screenshot and uh, let's say we are validating this orange hrm logo right and let's say if it is not as per the expectation so we'll border using red color like this right while posting the defect in manual testing we used to do in this way correct and let's say if you are validating username and password and if they are good then we can border like this right so to post while posting the defect or while uh, you know uh, creating any testing document we used to do in this way right so we are going to achieve this automatically using uh, selenium automation script right so let me take you to my uh, project so this is the project which we have created orange hrm project guys and uh, here where we are going to make the changes action driver class only com dot orange hrm dot action driver so i'll open that class and what i'll do i'll just navigate to the end and write the utility method over here utility method to border an element and i'll write one public method public void and let's say apply border i'll give the name of the method apply border so this is what we're going to create apply border uh, utility method and I'll pass couple of parameters like uh, I'll pass the locator by locator and I'll give one string parameter that will be like what is the color type which we want to like green color or red color right the border to border an element and here I'll write one statement uh, how we are going to locate the locate the element so simply I'll use web element element is equal to driver dot find element and the locator our locator type is by here right so this is done now i'll write javascript apply the border to apply the border so for that what will we do what we are going to do we'll write one string object using javascript code uh, so what i'm going to do arguments arguments we are going to pass the first argument on the web page that is element right and we'll use css like apply dot border and equals to and equals to and here we have to give like what is the pixel size using which we are going to border the element right 
so three pixel size and a solid line we are going to use solid line and uh, what I'll give over here I'll pass the color correct so we can give like this argument 0 the element apply border 3 pixel size solid and just give the space and then the color like green or red so this is what we are going to do now it is done and what will go what we are going to do we <coughs> we are going to use javascript executor to execute this script which we have written just now right A string type uh, which we have A string type of script which we have written so what we are going to do uh, we'll use java script executor executor and we'll create one object js and we'll pass the driver to it and we have to cast the javascript to this uh, driver right and here we'll use execute script we have execute script right and here we'll pass the element the first first would be i think uh, first would be script right and the second we have to pass the element like this so this is done guys and uh, let's write the log as well log info applied the border border with color and uh, here i'll give the color right and uh, to element and if you remember we have created one get element description method as well so to get the correct element description we'll call this method over here and uh, simply i'll pass by locator right so we'll get the proper message in the log applied to border applied the border with color what is the color to element and get element description the, the description of the element now let me simply in case if you get any exception so simply i'll put this into try catch block so right click and surround with try catch and here i'll put one log like logger dot one and here i'll put the message like uh, fail to apply the border fail to apply the border to to an element Here also we can simply we can call this method get element description and I'll put the by locator over here and comma will get the message the exception in case if you get any exception. So this is how we can write this apply border right guys uh, and let me just quickly recap so we have located the element web element using this driver dot find element right and we got our element over here and apply the border so we write one javascript arguments arguments of zero apply border three pixel solid and color right color which we are going to pass using this parameter and then we just execute using javascript executor js dot execute script method is there and we'll pass the script and element and we have just written some logs over here so this is done now what we are going to do we simply we call this method to all the action related methods whatever we have written inside this action driver class so let me just quickly go back on top so i'll call that method here apply border to all the methods right so by locator and uh, green correct 
and similarly we'll copy this and in catch block also in case if we get the failure so that will be in red color like this similarly for another method we have enter text so here we'll put apply border by in green and in the catch block simply i'll put this would be red color get text also we can do similar things over here this will be in red color uh, compare text so compare text here we need to put here on the log uh, the message uh, the method which we are going to call here after if condition because if it is equals then it will be passed right it will be in green color and if it is failed then it will be in red color like this an exception that is fine and is displayed here also we can put in red color but yeah let me put red color over here in case if you get any exception so it will be highlighted in red color so this is done guys and uh, is displayed also in green color and this would be in red color page load uh, wait for page load that is not required scroll element we can use here we can put like this and inside here as well red color so i think it's done pretty much everything is done now let me simply run the script uh, run our test xml and we'll see whether it is working fine or not so i'll open that from testng.xml from src test resources here we have testng.xml right now let me simply run the script whether it is working fine or not right click and run as testng suite so it will execute all our script one by one we have written five test cases and deliberately we have failed few test cases and let's see whether i think it is not bordering the element so i don't know what is the reason i think it's not bordering the element we got some exception over here cannot set property safety border Okay, something is wrong guys so let's review the script apply border by string color argument zero I think we have the problem here so it should be style instead of apply so it should be like arguments of zero style dot border and three pixel solid and whatever color we are going to provide using the parameter so now i think it should work guys so let me save it and come back to testng.xml and run the script again so it will open up the browser it will execute all the test cases parallelly now you can see here uh, it is started bordering the element right username password login button you can see everything is getting uh, like border so you can see here five test cases right which we have created and uh, three of them passed and if you remember in the previous session we deliberately failed a couple of test cases like one test case deliberately we failed and one is escape right so let me open the extent report now it should look properly so open with web browser so let us start with invalid login test so here you can see test comparison failed and test comparison failed invalid credentials we are expecting invalid credentials sorry invalid credentials one but we are getting invalid credentials so let's see with how it looks so here you can see guys uh, because this is not as per our expectation right this message 
because deliberately we failed this case so that's why we it is highlighted in red color because that test case has been filled uh, if i go to the next test case like verify orange hrm logo after logging into the application so if you open the applic uh, screenshot here you can see the orange hrm logo is properly uh, bordered right now let me dummy test anyway we don't verify any verification over here so that's why we don't get anything here as well verify valid login test so here you can see after logging into the application we should see the admin tab right so here you can see it is border using green color so this is how you can do uh, like bordering in element uh, an element in selenium and you can apply in your script as well in your framework right so this is all for today guys and uh, in the next video we'll talk about data driven testing we haven't implemented in our framework so we'll talk about data driven testing how we are going to implement uh, data driven testing right so thank you for watching this is all for today guys and uh, let me know if you have any doubts or any question related to this session and if you're new to this channel then please subscribe it and uh, share this channel and like this video thank you so much have a nice day bye bye